Hello students, this video is for class 8th. The topic is spreadsheet formulas and functions. Today we will cover these topics formula in Excel, creating basic formula, using compound formula, using formula on text and about cell range. So spreadsheet beta you have done in 7th standard also, in 6th also in fact. What is spreadsheet? Microsoft Excel software. So I have already opened one Excel sheet and I have entered roll numbers of five students, names, their English marks, their maths marks. You can see from here. Now your first topic is formulas in Excel. What are formulas? So formulas, when you will see from your book, they have given formulas are used to perform some calculations like addition, multiplication, division or one formula I have written. The one example they have given in your book also. So this is like one formula. So formulas include cell addresses, like I have included A2, B2, these are cell addresses. Here A2, if we see, what is there in A2? 1. What is there in B2? Aditi. This thing you have already done in previous class. You know how to write cell addresses. Now, this is just one of the example of formula. In formula, we write cell addresses. We use constants. We use operators. Here I have used plus, multiply, minus these operators. We can use different functions and we can use ranges. Okay. So everything we can write in formula. You have done two terms formulas and functions. This is actually the name of the chapter. So what is a formula? Formula include all these things. Include function also. But function is inbuilt function that is already there in Excel. Like finding sum, we have sum. To find average, we have average function. To find maximum uh, value out of given values, we have max function, we have min function. But in formula, we can include that inbuilt functions as well as other constant values, operators and cell addresses and ranges too. So here, this is range E3 to E5. Now coming here, if I have to find sum, this I have already done. If I have to find sum, so I have to apply sum formula. Like is equal to sum bracket start. Every function start with or every formula starts with equal to sign. I want to find sum of all the students in maths. This I'm writing one range from D2 to D6. So D2 colon D6. So answer is 234. So this is with a formula. Now they are talking about creating basic formula and creating compound formula. What is the difference between compound formula and basic formula? Like I have to find some of these two numbers. What will I write is equal to? This plus this. Press enter key. So sum of English and Maths of Aditi is 84. I have used only one operator. That is plus sign. So this is basic formula. I can write A2 plus B2 plus C2 plus D2. I can use number of cell addresses. But everywhere I am using only one operator that is addition that is plus sign. So that is basic formula. When I use only single operator... That is basic formula. But when I include more than one type of operator, that becomes compound formula. I have written here principal rate and time. If you can see, I have to find interest. So I'll write here interest. So what is the formula of interest? P into R into T divided by 100. This is principal. Multiply. Rate. Multiply. Time. Divided by 100. So answer is 450. This is the compound formula. In which I have included two operators. Multiplication as well as division. So this is compound formula. Next is using formula on text. How can you use formula on text? Now we don't apply any um, 
functions or formulas on text normally because we don't evaluate any addition subtraction calculations we don't do any calculations on names but they are saying we can do one type of calculation on names that is addition there is plus sign but we don't put plus sign with strings what we put ampersand sign how to use uh, i'll write here example you can write anywhere is equal to this is string aditi b2 has come i have selected that cell now ampersand sign this one shift 7 ampersand sign has come and select any other name b2 and b3 put enter sign aditi abhiram so what it has done it has concatenated two strings and two strings are there without any space aditi abhiram like this you can do calculations on your uh, strings also on your text also but one type of calculation only you can do and that is addition they have given one example in your book kips and in india and when they have written kips ampersand in india it will give you the result kips in india okay next topic is cell range what is cell range i have shown you here one example is equal to some d2 ratio d6 what is d2 ratio d6 that is cell range cell range separated by a semicolon how to select a range select one cell then simply just select it by left mouse button and drag it down it will select whole rectangular box so your range is selected i have selected here from d2 to d6 like this you can uh, use shortcut also what is the shortcut select one cell then press f8 key this function key f8 key first let on function keys f8 now with the help of down arrow key you just press down arrow key your selection will come down see i have selected these five cells having all the value 60 now they are saying uh, if you want to give any name like earlier i selected d2 to d6 so name was coming d2 to d6 this range i have selected but now they are saying if you have selected any range and you want to use it further you can give one name also you don't have to write again c2 to c6 d2 to d6 you can give one name also like uh, your name radhika my name radhika you can give like this also so if i want to give name any uh i'll select here my f8 is function key is on okay now for example i have selected this range i want to give name how to do go to formulas define name define name option now this dialog box will come you can give any name by default they have given the name of this column maths you can give any name i am writing maths 1 okay you can uh, write any comment also if you want that is optional okay now this range is selected and you know here is name box so see what is the name is coming maths 1 for this range because we have defined one name to this range so then it will show this name for example i have selected this range aditi to zena the first cell b2 is coming here we have not given any range name here but here we have given the name of range so that name will come now what is the benefit of this earlier we wrote is equal to sum d2 to d6 we wrote range now see i'll write is equal to sum bracket i'll not write d2 to d6 what i'll write the name of the range which i have given which i have defined that was maths 1 234 like this you can use the name of cell range next is cell reference and its types there are three types relative reference absolute and mixed that we will continue in next chapter
uh, in next series thank you